Hey guys, it's Sonia Lee, and this is my, I guess you could say halfway through update on my cycle. So I told you guys in the last video that I would update you guys once I started to get ready to ovulate and just keep you guys up to date as to what is going on when I got to the halfway point. So I have my little book right here with notes on my cycle. And, um, yeah, so basically my cycle started on January 18th. Um, my DNC was on December 19th, so it came exactly a month later. Um, I had three weeks of bleeding, um, from my DNC to before my period started. And then I had about eight days of a break and then my period came. The one thing that I will say, and I'm going to talk to my OB about it um, Friday when I go to my appointment, which I will update you guys with once I, maybe Sunday, I'll do a video on that because I work on Saturday. But um, my period has been a lot heavier than it normally is. So, um, like, it was so bad. I was changing my tampon like every two hours, sometimes every hour and a half, um, the first three days of my period. After that, I had no bleeding on cycle day four, and then cycle day five and six, um, I had spotting. Like, I wiped, and there was, like, a little bit of blood, and then nothing the rest of the day. So, like... Even though I put a tampon in or kept changing my tampon, there was nothing on it. Um, I did notice that my mucus, um, I know this is like TMI, but, um, from cycle day seven to cycle day 13, my mucus was pretty much like the first three days it wasn't on my panties, but it was after that. And then, um. It was more so like a milky consistency, um, but as I got closer to my ovulation tests getting darker, the consistency got thicker. Um, so like yesterday when I checked it, it was really thick um, on my finger. Today is cycle day 18. Yes, right? Yeah. And, um... My mucus changed to um, the the watery where you can pull it and it'll, you know, stretch. So, yeah. Now, as far as my OPKs are, I'm going to show you. So, as you can see, this is today. Oh, my God. This is horrible. The lighting is so... But um, I got my peak today. Um, they started getting really dark yesterday. Um, but I'm going to try to show you guys. Oh man, I apologize for this. Oh man, let's try this. So as you guys can see that bottom one, I got my peak. Um, <clears throat> so today is, I guess you can say I'm getting ready to ovulate. Um, so as far as symptoms and everything for today, like, I've had, strangely, like, I'm tired, but I have energy, but I have no energy at times, so it's, like, very sporadic. Um, now, I started doing OPKs on cycle day nine. Um, for next cycle, I pretty much get, I got an idea as to when to start to do them, um, so I'm not going to start taking OPKs until cycle day 15, and I'm only going to take one a day until cycle day 17, 18, so, um, I pretty much noticed that evening was, like, my darker of the test, so I'm probably going to start testing, like, at 5 p.m., um, and then on cycle day 17, um, I might test at 12, so I'll do like a 12 and then like a 6 p.m. to see if um, it's changed, but um, next cycle, I'm going to do things a little bit different, so 
um, I have been using the Premom app. I wish I could show you guys on my phone, but um, I'm using my phone. I can't wait to get a computer so I can show you guys, you know, and do a camera instead of this. But um, the Premom app, I'm, I have mixed feelings with. Reason being is, um, if you do the automatic setting, I notice that your tests are a lot lighter. Whereas if you, um, you know, take a picture with your phone and then lower the lighting a little bit, you know, my tests were coming out lighter than what they were in person. So I had to go and edit them to get them to where it looked like the color that they were, which was weird. Um, another thing is, is my peak for today didn't even turn into a peak and it's, it's a peak. Like... I, the test line is darker than the control line, so, um, let me see if you guys can see it. If not, I apologize, but that, that line is clearly a peak, so I had to manually enter it as a peak for today, and that was quite disappointing. Um, the one thing that I do like about the app is that it shows you, like, a chart, so it shows you your, um ovulation tests, like, doing their thing, um, I was contemplating going and taking another test to see what happens with the rise, um, so tomorrow I'm gonna take an OPK, probably at, like, five, I apologize for the lighting, guys, my room, it sucks, um, I look like I'm in, like, heaven or something, <laughs> but, um, there we go, but, uh, I did like how it did that, and I'm really excited because next month I'm going to start be basal body temping, so BBT, um, or BT, B BBT, I don't know. Um, so I bought the Easy Mom, um, or Easy at Home thermometer. Um, the cool thing is, is that it attaches to the app from my Bluetooth so, um, I wish this would, oh, come on, um, hold on, let me see if I can get the light. Uh, so as you can see, it says the date and, um, the time, um, so that was pretty cool. Um, but basically when I wake up in the morning, I'll you know, take my temperature, and instead of having to manually log it in on the thing, um, it'll automatically do it itself, so that was pretty cool, and I'm excited to use this. If you guys want to buy it, I got it on eBay super cheap. It was like $24, I think, versus what they were charging on the website, so um, I was pretty stoked, so I can't wait to start that, um, but yeah. I am ovulating. Eggie is getting ready to draw. Well, I'm getting ready to ovulate, I should say. So, um, yeah, I'm ready for cycle two. <laughs> We're getting one step closer to the ninth cycle. <laughs> um, but I'm really excited to be sharing this journey with you guys. And if you guys have any questions, like, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, I, I'm willing to share this journey with you guys and I hope a lot of people will join me with this journey or join me on this journey I should say I can't talk but um yeah so I have my OB appointment Friday to get the test results um as well as doing my blood pressure tests to make sure that the medication is working so I will do an update on Sunday for you guys but I figured I'd just let you guys know that I'm getting ready to ovulate. I know that's, like, so stupid to be like, hey, guys. But um, I'm really excited that my body is, you know, still doing its thing. <laughs> Especially now that I'm 36. Like, I have had a little bit of, um, you know, doubt that, you know, things are going to keep going. And that I'm not going to have another baby. Like, I have that in the back of my head. So... It's been a little bit unsettling, but I'm getting through. Um, but in the meantime, um, if you guys have a question, just, you know, post it below. Um, and I will update you guys Sunday when I 
can. <laughs> so, bye guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. I cannot talk Jesus. So, <laughs> alright, bye guys.